Hello, my name is Bonnie Gratz, and I am the Artistic Director of New Vintage Theatre Company. And you might recognize me from some of my films, including the bus safety film, Rad, Hyper Sapien, or Lip Sync. No? Oh, well, maybe you recognize me from some of my recent Kelowna onstage performances in such plays as My Favorite Fairy Tales, Waiting for the Parade, or The Terrifying Bone House? No? <laughs> well, I can't say I'm not surprised. You see, I'm a Canadian theater artist, and as such, I'm highly unrecognizable. But today, with the magic of television and the World Wide Web, we have a very exciting treat for you. My theater company, New Vintage Theater, has been working on a parody soap opera here in Shaw's beautiful studios called As the Sun Burns. Now it's based in Kelowna, but in five fictionalized locations. They include Summer Eve Spa, Wellness Center and Chiro Emporium, The Grape Winery, Sapphire Flashbacks Disco, the Jubilee of Humanity Hospital, and the El Grand Man Luxury Hotel. The characters are inspired by Kelowna, but let me tell you that any resemblance to any Kelowna citizen, living or dead, is highly coincidental. And I'm pleased to tell you that no animals or children were hurt in the filming of these episodes. So kind patrons, sit back, relax, and feel the burn as we start our parody soap opera, As the Sun Burns. As the Sun Burns. Hi, my name is Veronica Hamilton, and I'm the new manager at the Grape Wine Bar. Our vintner is a baron. That's right, a real baron from somewhere. Our estate is exotic and beautiful, just like me. So you know that our wine is tasty. So come visit me. Veronica Hamilton at the Grape Wine Bar. We're open evenings. I'll be waiting for you. Yes, I'm Erica Morningside, Miss Kelowna Friendship. 
Well, I'm Roxy Buchanan from Hollywood Now. You were on my show a couple months ago. I'm wondering how you'd feel about doing an interview about your appearance here at the Psychic Fair. Honestly, no. Miss Kelowna Friendship's not feeling very friendly today. Well, what's wrong? I have guy problems. I just don't know what to do. My reign is coming to an end this summer, and I don't even have a boyfriend. Well, you and I have a lot in common. But you're a famous, glamorous reporter, and I'm just a glamorous local beauty queen until July. Well, I was once Miss Kelowna Friendship. You were? And I had a troublesome boyfriend. Oh, we were so in love making a life here in Kelowna. I was even expecting a child, but after a silly argument, I left for LA and never came back. Until now. Wow, that's some story. Choose love, Erica. And chocolate. It's delicious. But what happened to the child? Well, that's why I'm here. To find her. Why haven't you answered my messages? Because I can't trust you, Julio. And is this a chocolate rose? You know I'm lactose intolerant. I'm sorry. I've been looking all over the psychic fair just to tell you. I'm sorry. Well, while you were looking, I went and talked to a fortune teller and asked her about our future. And? She told me I should look elsewhere for true love. It seems I am Erica's future now, brother. Her future forever and ever and ever. So everything he said was true? You've been in his muscular arms? Yes. <laughs> so we're over. Yes. yes. But I think I will take Emiliano's advice and keep the ring. We may need it. Future in Kelowna is uncertain, brother. The only reason you're in Canada is because of my singing career. For as long as I hold your visa, I hold all the cards. A future trip to Mexico is in your future, brother. Forever and ever and ever.